Hey everyone, welcome to Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Right now, you are looking at Crushinator, a stress test that Chris wrote. Crushinator simulates performance load from a mid to late end Stonehearth game by filling the world with a ton of hearthlings and giving them instructions to farm, craft, and build. So why are we looking at Crushinator this week? Well, as we were wrapping up Alpha 14 and forecasting ahead as to what to focus on for Alpha 15 and beyond, we had a sobering realization. Everything we wanted to implement, ranged combat, more classes, building enhancements, elementals, titans, and more, were all mid to late game features, and our mid to late game, as it currently stands, runs excruciatingly slow. As soon as you get to 20 or 30 hearthlings, the game lags out, the UI becomes slow, and hearthlings start standing around doing nothing. Prototyping and testing advanced features in this environment would be pretty much impossible. If we built the features in test worlds and then tried to add them to the game, the game would become unplayable long before anyone actually got to see them. So in order to get to the things that we really wanted to do, we decided to dedicate Alpha 15 to performance optimizations. And that's where Crushinator comes in. Since Stonehearth is a simulation game, every single entity in the world is backed by hundreds or thousands of lines of code that determine how they should act or react in any given situation. This means thinking entities like hearthlings and goblins and wolves, but also reacting entities like bodies of water. Debug Tools provides us with a pretty good summary of an entity's active AIs. For example, this list shows all the possible actions this hearthling could potentially do at any moment. When the game is running, the code that backs these actions is turned into mathematical equations that are solved by your computer's CPU. All the hearthlings, goblins, and simulation entities share the CPU in order to produce the game simulation. Unfortunately, the CPU can only execute the equations so quickly. As we add more hearthlings and more features that make the simulation richer, the game piles equations onto the CPU and the CPU's answers start to lag behind the present moment in the simulation. We see this lag as either a general slowness in the game, or as hearthlings standing around idle because the CPU is so far behind that more complex AI actions simply cannot complete in the time allotted to them. Short of getting a faster CPU, there is only one way to fix this problem, and that is to create a simulation that produces slowness, thanks Crushinator, analyze it, find out which parts of the code that we've written are hogging the most CPU, and rewrite that code in a way that drains less of the CPU's time and that preserves our desired gameplay. The performance bar in the lower right corner of the game gives us our first high-level view of what things are taking up the most CPU time. Depending on what's dominating the bar, we can look at various memory profilers to drill down into that part of the code. For example, when the bar is predominantly blue, that means that our Lua game logic is the primary contributor to the slowness. To fix that, we capture everything that's going on in the game for a short period of time and then dump all of these files, one for each AI thread, into the Lua profiler that Tony wrote for us. The profiler shows us which lines of code are taking up the most CPU. From there, we must figure out how to rewrite those lines or the whole function or the whole subsystem to make it take up less time. Then we run the profiler again to see if we've succeeded and play the game to make sure it still works right. Sometimes this is fun. Solving puzzles is always fun. But sometimes it's just exhausting, meticulous, and tedious work that we have to be extremely careful not to undo with future changes going forward. But if that's where we have to be in order to have epic combats, better building, and all the other features we want, we think it's well worth it. In the meantime, Alpha 14 is out on Steam Stable, and we honestly think it is our best release yet. Give it a go and let us know how it is for you either here in the comments or on our forums at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!